Ugh, God damn it. Odessa, did you throw my game away? Odessa, that was my last copy. How could you throw it away? Do you have any idea how important that game is to me? Well, I guess we should just go play a boring game like Gary's Mod or something. Wait, Odessa, did you hear that? Odessa, look! I can't believe it! It's him! Senator Armstrong! Odessa, do you know what this means? It means we're f***ed! Oh, what a glorious day today is! Guys, welcome back here on Construct. The man, the myth, the legend, Anna Zeus has finally come out with... An NPC that we've all been waiting for. That's right, the one and only Senator Armstrong. Nanobot, son. That's the whole reason I did this video was to say that. So let's go into what this NPC can do. We can already see, I mean, the model looks fantastic, man. Straight up amazing. If you guys don't know, um, Senator Armstrong is from a game called Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. One of my favorite games way back in the day. One of the first games I got for PC, in fact. And then it turns out that it became a meme, um, which when I played the game and did this final boss, I thought it was going to be a meme. I'm, I'm like, how is this not like everywhere? And then finally it's now become a thing and now it's an NPC in Gary's Mod. What a way to come back. So we can see Senator Armstrong is pretty much a politician running for president and he uses power and a lot of horrible things to get where he wants to be. To purge America and make it great again, yeah. But you do not want to f*** with this senator, he has a lot of powers. Let's go ahead and see exactly what those powers are. Um, I'm kind of afraid <laughs> to let him loose. That looks powerful. Alright, let's go ahead and see exactly what kind of stuff he can do. Ooh, that felt good. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Ow. Okay, so he's not... Well, right when I say that, I was gonna say he's not, like, obligatorily overpowered. Oh! <laughs> but his attacks are ridiculous nonetheless. So damaging him, I mean, he has a lot of health, man. But I like that we actually have somewhat of a chance. Saying that with two health. <laughs> oh my god, that's so insane. This NPC is gonna be a lot of fun. Whoa! <laughs> he could just do that from across the map. Let's see. Oh. Yep. Okay. I gotta admit, from long stretches, it looks a little goofy. But still, pretty insane that he can even do that. It's interesting. I expect to die from, like, every single hit. But, uh, we can actually take a few blows. Alright, it's so not that we have an idea of what Mr. Armstrong can do. Oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? All right, this guy's a straight boss, and uh, I think I'm missing a few textures there. I have everything downloaded, so I don't know what I could be missing. So yeah, he's got a lot of attacks, and guys, don't worry. We will do the possession and showcase all of his attacks, just so we know completely what he can do. This is just kind of a dirty overview of what he'll do when you spawn him in. I mean, just look at this, though. This is pretty funny, you gotta admit. All right, time to do something I've always wanted to do. Can Armstrong defeat the Incredible Hulk? Let's find out. Oh, here we go. Oh! We got some reverberating of the space-time going on. Alright, here's his ultimate move. Oh! Oh! Here he goes. Okay, I have no clue what's going on right now. We have a fracture in the ground. Oh, it explodes, okay. Hey, he did enough damage to Hulk to turn him into World Breaker, but unfortunately, it was at the cost of his life. Alright, next up we're going to try Godzilla. Now guys, to be fair, he does not have a crazy, crazy amount of health. I mean, still a very large amount, but not like Godzilla size. We're still going to see though if he can hold his own against the King of Monsters here. Alright, starting off strong. Although, <laughs> he's so small, I don't even know if he's going to hit him. I mean, Godzilla's gonna have to come up with something, because I don't think Godzilla can hit him either. I just gotta say, guys, by the way, the animations are top-notch, man. And the effects look pretty sick, too. Alright, let's see. He is doing something to Godzilla, so it's not like he's just doing nothing. Godzilla, unfortunately, though, can't really hurt him. Or wait, no, maybe he can. In fact, I think they're at about the same health in terms of percentage-wise. Alright, so I think we can see from this small engagement here that he's not the crazy overpowered powerhouse that you probably might expect. 
Oh, wait, never mind. Whoa, he just did half of Godzilla's health. Oh, okay, it's because of that attack. He's getting hit with the multiple fire explosions. All right, never mind. I think he has a chance against Godzilla. But I guess, to be fair, Godzilla can't really hit him with his strongest attacks. So, guys, it's important to note that he is not insanely overpowered or broken. In fact, I think he's rather a fair fight. I mean, look at that. We're actually doing a nice chunk of damage to him. But of course, I don't know if it'll be enough to actually take him out, especially when he gets in our face. Oh my god! Oh, oh no, he's pissed! So this is what happens when you piss Armstrong off. So now we have to fight against Sexy Time Armstrong, and I gotta be honest, I don't know if we can. I don't know for sure if he gets any new attacks, although he- Whoa, that looks new. <laughs> wow. Alright, Armstrong, I'm pretty impressed, gotta admit. Definitely stronger than I thought he was going to be at first, although I also expected his attacks to one-shot us. However, looking back, I'm glad that they do not. Taking Armstrong out, there's his death animation. Long live the meme. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and play as the man himself. Look at that swag walk. Dude is a Chad IRL. So left click is going to be... Whatever that move is. And then shift is going to be your dash attack. So that makes sense why he kept doing it, because I thought it was an attack. It turns out that's just his sprint. Dude doesn't even need to walk. He can just fly towards you. And then he can also jump. Ridiculous heights. Right click is going to be... Oh, okay. So that's kind of like activating the nano machines. I'm pretty sure that's going to give us insane durability. In fact, let's go ahead and see. Oh, that is so cool. There's even a defense animation. So yeah, pretty much... They're doing almost no damage whatsoever. Oh, grenade. Let's see this. That did nothing at all. All right, my turn. Okay, this is probably one of the best NPCs you can possess, bar none. Seriously, playing as Armstrong? I think that's pretty much a dream come true for me. All right, so it's important to note that left click is not just one attack, but actually quite a few. So there's the first one. And then the second one is the kick. Or the haymaker. Or a little combo. So there really is a nice amount of everything. You don't need to press a bunch of keys. You can just keep pressing left click and things will happen. But of course, we can also do a lot more than that. Pressing F is going to be our ground slam attack. And this is the move that after a short duration will explode. And then next up we have the firewall with G. And that's going to be, well, this. Probably his strongest attack, bar none. I mean, this thing did almost half of Godzilla's health, so we can definitely see some potential here. By the way, I just realized with the jumping thing, you want to aim where you want to land. So if we aim right here and press jump, we will jump all the way to where we were aiming. Wait, what about way up there? Oh. Oh, Jesus. This man's got legs. Next up, we got the three key. Pressing this will make you do the fire dash. All right, fire dash. Here we go. Oh, ho, 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 let's go. Next up, we have the quick charge into a blast. All right, looks like a good AoE. In fact, let's go ahead and test that out. Nice. Next up, we have key five. This is going to charge into a blast. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so that's pretty much just a stronger version of what number two is. And then, of course, key six is going to transform us into our rage mode. Oh, yeah. And then the best thing of all is being able to pick NPCs up. Oh yes, I can have my way with Odessa, finally. And you know what? Maybe you want to throw something at them. Okay, that, that's a little extreme. Yes, you can throw props if that's really what you want. All right, let's go ahead and try that with Odessa here. Oh, wait, he's already dead. Yeah, probably a little overkill. All right, we may or may not take this to a whole nother level here. Let's go ahead and try <laughs> to lift up this giant square here. Oh, and there we go. You know what? Let's go ahead and try it one more time. See if we can throw this square at these NPCs. Oh, well, never mind. They're already dead. And of course, it can't be Armstrong without a few cocky words. Man to man, I can't be beat. Come on. R is going to be your taunt. How do you like that? 
I'm pretty sure some of you guys knew this was coming. Press M. And the music plays. And then pressing P will mute the music. Overall, this is an amazing NPC. Seriously, something that I was not expecting anyone to make. But I'm really glad that Anna Zeus did decide to make it. It's so fun. Definitely try it out with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. But until next time, guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe. All the links are going to be down in the description. And until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.